Hello everyone and welcome back. Mr. What's Good X here bringing his second tutorial on Photoshop CS6 and today we're going to learn how to make a camouflage black uh excuse me uh background just like I have on my channel for my channel art and if you haven't seen it make sure to go check it out. But let's get started. So make sure this is set on pixels. If you haven't done that already and for the width and height you can set it by 1920 by 1280 or you can do 1280 by 720 like I did make sure the resolution is 72 so okay now what you want to do is you want to pick a base color so for me I'm just gonna make it simple black so now we're gonna go hide that excuse me oh, now we're gonna go hide that and make a layer one and now what we want to do is we want to go to filter, render, oh, it's clouds, then command or control L if you're on Windows. And you want to set that to 126 and this to 128. Okay. Hide that. Now we want to go make a second layer. Let's do the same thing again. Filter, render, clouds. Command L. Then we want to make it 131. Whoops. 131 and 133. Okay. Now hide it. Make the third and final layer. Render clouds. Command L. Then make it 134 and a 136. And now we go start with the first layer. Now for the next step we have to go to select color range and then what you want to do is you want to click on the white and then press OK then select modify smooth make sure it's 10 pixels for the sample radius OK then delete okay and then you can go to the uh, quick uh, selection tool and just de uh, right click and deselect Okay, now that we got that done, now we go to the second layer, bring that up, same thing, color range, fuzziness at 200 always, then oh, click on the white, okay, and then we want to go to select, modify smooth, 10 pixels, okay, then delete, then we want to deselect that, okay, now that we got that done, now we do our third layer, Okay, so we go to color range, boom, boom, modify, smooth, okay, delete, and deselect. Okay, so now that we got that done, now what you can do is you can start filling in your colors, so whatever way you want. So, what you want to do is let's, let's see, let's start with the top one. So say we want to do this one so you got to go to your effects over here and your layer styling and you want to go to color overlay make sure you go into that and you can pick uh, any color you want whatever floats your boat so let's just go with this color right here okay now we got that done now let's just go hide that for just a sec we got to blending options and all that stuff then we want to go to color overlay and pick a new color except why the hell isn't select on that layer there we go yeah okay I did that right sorry you guys okay now we go to color overlay um, I guess we'll keep it nice red okay we'll keep that in hide that for just a sec and then we'll finish it up right here with color over oh my god Sorry, you guys. There we go. Just had to go make sure I was on the actual layer so we could see it. So color overlay. Um, pick whatever color you'd like. Um, I'm going to pick a random color like a yellow. A nice bright color. Okay, now we got that done. And then bring up the final layer. And you can see you have your camouflage. But now what you can do is you can kind of mix it around a bit. You know, see see how, what color combination. I think I like this combination pretty good, actually. In fact, I might use it for my channel art, but I'm gonna use some different colors. Let me see. You can even add your own uh, 
text to it. Let's see. Mr. What's Good X. Except we'll put that on the front in just a sec. Um, hmm, I guess we'll make leave it white. And then we can change oop, change the text up to... Let's see. What do we got that looks good? Mm, uh, that uh, Aerial black. Something not too original. And then let's make that a bit bigger. About, let's make it a 130. Okay, and then let's add a bit of stroke to that. Let's see, stroke. Um, what should the stroke be? Uh, I guess we'll leave, make, leave it a black. Actually, no. Let's go make it a blue. Something. Some nice color right here. Uh, no, that's actually too girly. There we go. Top down notch to make it seven pixels. Just because I feel like it. Okay. Bring that layer up top. And then there you have it. Just scoot that down in the middle. Uh, we can make it a little bit big later, but that's for you guys to adjust. But that is my camo tutorial, my camouflage tutorial on Photoshop CS6. So if you guys enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more tutorials, uh, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.